Hey, what's going on, y'all? Hope everyone's doing well. It's another morning. It's actually Tuesday morning. I feel good. I just came in from the gym. I got to go to work in a couple of hours, uh, maybe an hour and a half, actually. Um, as you guys saw my last video, I did um, I did a uh, a $1,000 challenge, right? And I still guys have my $5,000 challenge. I got um, 31 more days until it's complete. Now, this is going to be the hard part when it gets into the... 80s and 90s that's when it gets really hard but i got some money saved up i got my job money coming in and i'm going to complete it so that's my goal and it's only 30 one more days i'm super excited about that but what i'm going to show you guys right now is for my thousand dollars i put some away i put some towards this well i'm going to put some i stretch some of it out and also um i'm going to buy some stocks i put a hundred dollars um into my a Roth IRA, but I didn't do it yet, but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm about to do. As you see, I'm with Fidelity, you can't see it. Now, I must tell you, I'm not a financial advisor. So all this, I'm learning, I follow these guys on YouTube, and uh, this is how I'm learning, because I'm 53, um, you know, I started super late, like I said before, I had a lot of money, and I didn't know what to do with my money. Most, um, you know, I shouldn't say African, but a lot of us, we, we're not really, we weren't taught in school how to be financially, um, how you say it, uh, I forgot the name for it. But, you know, we didn't learn about finances. And we didn't learn finances from our, our mothers, our fathers, our grandmothers. It's something that's not really um, taught in our community. So I'm, we're changing that with the internet. It's unbelievable. So what I didn't learn, I'm learning now. So there's no excuse for me now at my age to start saving for my, I don't want to say retirement, into my later years, but I call it retirement, everybody says, but I'm 53 and I keep, I take care of myself. And that's my secret is that I do not play with my health. Um, and that's how I'm gonna save a lot of money too. So um, let me show you guys the stocks I'm buying, hold on. Well, these are the stocks that I do have. I got some VUG, VU, hold on, where's my, um, I got um, VYM, I got a couple of stocks, but, and all of these are really, um, uh, EFT, so it's like a little bit of everything. Um, what's the one I'm getting right now? I'm gonna get some technology stock. So in this stock right here, it's $31. And in it, you have Microsoft, uh, what's that, Nevada, Apple, Mattel, ServiceNow, Salesforce, and um, this is in this stock. And there's more in it too, but these are the top the top two, um, the top 10 holdings. Show y'all something real quick. These are my funds. This is where they say the stock market is bad, the economy bad. I don't know how it's bad, and I'm in the green right now. I'm making money. This thing's incredible. I'm making money all around the board with my little stock. And yeah, y'all might think it's nothing, but it's better than nothing. And I'm in the game, so I'm playing the game. So I don't know how people can say the stock market is down. I just don't get this part. I don't get this part of the game. I like about ETFs is that it's just a little, it's like all the top, companies um inside of one stock so i don't have to just buy apple i don't just have to buy uh microsoft there's percentages in each stock and it's called an eft that's what i'm learning about efts so and i've made some money i started this off with like 200 dollars, and i had some other stocks from when i was doing um in COVID time, remember everybody was doing stocks at that time. So what I did was just I had to cash them all all out. I transferred them over to for day, but they wouldn't go. In. It was a, a traditional um, um, IRA. I needed a Roth IRA, so I had to sell those stocks off, and then I took that money and invested in these stocks. So it's really like I'm starting all over. Um, but you know, I could be jamming my money up doing other stuff. All right, so let's get a stock. Hold on. You see, I got my Fidelity. Is that Apple? I'm gonna do a trade, and I'm gonna do about, oh, here it is. I'm gonna do about, I'm gonna just do $31. I'm gonna buy one stock, then you press, see if I can do it right, you press buy, you press dollar amount, is $31.91, right? Then you press view, preview, boom, right? Next available price, and you just click, and you buy it. That's it. It's just that simple. It's really not that hard. So I'm gonna buy some more stuff. I just do wanna go show y'all all of it because it gets, I know you might be bored and like, what is this guy? 
But anyway, um, you know, especially for the fellas, we can save too. We can save. The ladies got it down pat. We can do it too, you know. Well, more men do stocks than ladies. The ladies do the stuff like this, like the uh, the, the money saving and envelope saving. I'm learning so much watching the ladies on YouTube. It's unbelievable how much stuff I'm learning. And I also have another one that I'm doing. Yeah, I saw the other one, right? So, you know, the, it was three days ago when I showed the last the video of me with the thousand dollars. So now I'm just doing a 500 because I don't want to do a thousand because I want to finish this. And then I'm going to do three of these at one time. So I'm going to do $1,500 a month. And mind you guys, I live on a very low income. I I make, I did my math, 21,000 a year. So now, because I took a, um, I didn't want, I took, I, I switched my days with somebody. So I only work three days a week. And I got other stuff I got going on. Um, so, you know, this is a way for me to have a little bit of freedom, take the little money I get, put it where it needs to be. Also, you guys see, this is my envelope stuff. <laughs> this is to get my car engine clean. This is my Amazon. I don't, I don't have any debt. So what I do now is when I want to buy something from Amazon, every time I get a check, I put away five, ten dollars, and that's how I pay for my Amazon. But I don't, I save the money first before I buy. I put it in the um, what you call that inside the um, checkout and I just leave it. This is my motorcycle insurance. This is my car insurance. This is my life insurance. This is my rent. I, need, I gotta get a new IMDB account. This is my food money. And this is my car tires. I wanna get new car tires. So it's possible y'all. It's just, you gotta have a plan and a budget. I'm living on a budget right now, a strict budget. So I'm able to save because I'm living on a budget. That's the hardest thing I never knew how to do was do a budget. That's the killer is the budget. So if you can, you know, do a budget for yourself because everybody budget is different, you know. Um, my rent is subsidized. Not subsidized, it goes by my income. I guess that's subsidized, I don't know. So um, yeah, that, and I don't have a car note. I don't have um, any debt. And that's very important and it's true. Um, Dave Ramsey right. Once you um, have no debt, you can start saving. So no, my money doesn't go to anywhere but me. And I use it wisely. A lot of us, we know, look, I spent $100 on, on this. I could have went and bought a brand, pair of pants, a pair of sneakers, and a shirt or something, or a jacket. But I invested it into my future. So when I get older, at least I have a something. You know, they oh, you need a million dollars. Nah, man. If I, listen, I'm living off of $21,000 a year, and I'm good, and I live in New York. So now if I had $250,000, I'd stretch that. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm making my money work for me anyway. I'm, giving, I'm doing another business and stuff like that. So anyway, guys, I'm not going to talk too long. Um, hopefully you guys got something out of it. If you can, put a like, subscribe, and I'll do more stuff like this. Um, I can't wait till that's over. That's what I really can't wait for, that 5,000. All right, y'all. Um, yeah, that's it. Peace out. Have a great day.